Investigators still trying to determine what caused a deadly house fire in Wauwatosa. It killed a toddler and left that child's uncle severely hurt over the weekend. And while we wait for answers, we wanted to know what families can do to prepare themselves in case of a fire. Neighbors in Wauwatosa watched helplessly as a man stumbled out of his burning home over the weekend. A three-year-old girl who was trapped inside died from her injuries. I feel awful. I wish there was more I could do. And while it may feel like there's nothing you can do, Lieutenant Dan Tyke says you can prepare yourself and your family. Interestingly enough, about 70% of Americans have a, an escape plan that they've discussed, but less than half of them practice that. And you should practice your safety plan every month. Uh, no age is too young. I have a two and a half year old and we talk about it at home all the time. The basics of a good plan are simple. Practice at different times of day, have two ways out of every room, and a safe meeting place like a mailbox or tree near your home. Once you get outside, you need to stay out. Never go back inside. That's the fire department's job to go in and make a rescue. And you don't have much time to get out. Most people think they have six or seven minutes to leave a burning home. But Lieutenant Tyke says the reality is you have about a third of that. You can have two minutes or less to safely get out of the house. One more simple thing, sleep with your door closed. It's not going to keep fire out indefinitely or smoke out indefinitely, but it'll definitely buy you that time. Uh, the other thing we advocate if you're... The North Shore Fire Department is offering to help the, the communities that they serve, including an on-site safety planning and smoke detector checks for you. You can call them if you'd like help, 414-357-0113. We have new